Um, I also ask just a general question that I always get, which is where do I start? Where do I begin with this journey? The reality is, is that we all now have to work on the cleansing because that's where we're being really hit the most with the toxins. So what we're beginning on February 22nd is we're beginning that cleanse. And as I've said to people before, yes, we do have the cleansing products on our site, but if there is a financial constraint with, with those products uh, in you, then there are cleanses on the internet, which we'll start sourcing information to, that you can also do that are somewhat equivalent to what we're doing. That way, then the person probably can run to the store and grab some of this stuff. So that way that everyone sees that what you're really dealing with more than anything is being able to actually go through the necessary steps that are that in your life to actually get the results. And that if you look back on your entire life, you'll say, man, well, I never, I never did this. And I definitely never did it like this. And so then you can 100% accredit it to why it actually works. So for those that are at the point of saying, well, where do I properly begin on this journey? Generally, you want to clean yourself up. You want to cleanse so that way everything that you experience after this, you experience clear and with a, with a clear uh, a body and you don't have something else that's inside of you making the decisions. And notice how the word fool, uh, this is interesting, F-U-L-L, -L, when you get it from the table, you said, oh, I'm fool. And then, of course, that word synonymous with a jester or someone who, who's joking, basically, and, and why they always draw, if they do draw some images of Satan in the stomach and the head there in the stomach, because it's saying that the stomach tells us what to do. The stomach guides us. A lot of people are, are based on food. If they can eat, if they don't, don't eat, everything changes about them or how, what quality of food they can eat is everything they're concerned about. So see that this area here is a major part of how consciousness is being attacked. But also notice that these parts of the body seem to be operating together, like we were talking about with, the, um, with in space, but also separate, like we were talking about under the microscope. And this is just something that you've been thrown right into. So you might as well get used to the double thinking, meaning the thinking of where you have to consider both bodies before you make that next move. So that also manifests as when you want to experience something spiritually and you know that your mind and your spirit are ready for that, you have to be willing to tell your body to, okay, I can't, I can't go in on the cheese right now. I can't go in on the milk right now. I, I, I can't, you know, go in on the hamburger right now because there's another body that needs to be, that needs to experience something because that body is going to be more equipped to handle what's to come. And the reason why we know that is because we're moving into an ethereal age. All of how you've been progressing through these physical realities could definitely be the indicator based, I mean, the, in, the indication that we've been moving through metal base, or as, as we talk about the golden age, the silver age, and the brass, bronze age, etc. We've been moving through these minerals as ages. So in essence, during those times through our expansion of layering our shelf with this protection, as they were saying, it's obvious that through those periods, we would get to a period where we would actually not feel like we needed any of this, the physical level of protection, meaning that we don't need physicality to make us secure. We don't have to have these shells around who we are and our personality because it also closes in who we really are, especially if we don't get out. So even the, the, um, the hindrance of getting the truth out and allowing people to speak the truth is bottling them up within. And so, of course, when the body begins to bottle up, it builds up all of these toxins. So what you have really with the vehicle, the mind, body, and soul, when in the individual that hasn't began to awake is that the system is, is basically, um, it's begin to attack the individual. Like if you have a body and it's full of nothing but bacteria and these bacteria are manipulating, I'm manipulating and, uh, uh, excuse me, um, what is the word I'm looking for, uh, multiplying, then if you can't stop that, then your body actually is becoming a host. Now, this gets us actually into even more deeper information about how hive minds even function, like how can an entire generation go into one direction? And of course, that, that gets us into, again, frequency.